Well, are you in the market for a modular computer? There are many things to consider before you make the big purchase. For instance, how do they compare to a box store computer? And can you save some money on one? We're getting the answers today when we compute this. Well, welcome back, Thor Schrock of Schrock Innovations. Good to see you, Thor. Good to see you guys. Thanks Good for having me. I like your hair. That's, that's new this week. Thanks. I <laughs> we wanted to channel about... my inner lion. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about it at the beginning of the show. It's somewhat oh, did you? It's kind we of did, my natural yeah. hair with a little finishing touches. But yeah. She but went, thanks. She went all natural yes, today. I did. All natural. Uh, speaking of natural, modular computers, that could be somewhat <laughs> yeah. natural, isn't it? Like as natural, natural as a computer can be, yes. It is. So how, what is a modular computer? <laughs> All right, so the difference between a modular computer and like a computer you get at a box store, modular computers are designed to last you and your family longer because they're overbuilt for what you want to do. So let me, let me walk you through this. You go out to the box store mm -hmm. and you pick up a computer off the shelf. That computer is designed to last the average user 18 to 24 months. That's not very long. Not no, long. it's not. Um, and everyone says, well, I'm not the average user. I'm, you know, I only use it for internet, email. They know that. You are the average user. Right. <laughs> that is the average <laughs> yeah. person. So right. that, if you don't think you're the average user, you're the average you user. Are the, yes. And so that means it's going to last someone who doesn't do anything with their computer 18 to 24 months. Now imagine if you're somebody who actually does stuff with their computer. Like video, graphics, mm -hmm. some of that yeah, stuff. Some, yeah, somebody who puts a load on it. You know, first of all, you're not going to be going to Best Buy and buying like the $600 special. You're going to get a decent computer. But you know, still, at the bottom line is when you get a modular computer, uh, for example, AMD just announced that there's a whole new line of processors coming out, the, the Vega 2200s, uh, the 2200 series processors. They're, every time Intel's like, we're almost back, we're almost back on top, they, they, you know, and AMD comes out and they're like, nope, not this time, there's a new chip. <laughs> oh, darn it, now we're, now we're overpriced junk again for another year. Well, basically what happens every time Intel puts out a new chip, is they, they change the socket, they change the motherboard and the memory and everything, so you can't just take that new chip and stick it in your computer. You gotta buy a whole new computer. Mm -hmm. With a modular computer, we can take that new chip and stick it in the computer. If you want the new chip, we can upgrade you to the new chip. If you want more memory, we can add more memory. You want a bigger hard drive, we can do a bigger hard drive. And actually in the box store computers, now we're getting to the point where, especially in laptops, that you, you can't upgrade anything, not even the memory anymore. It's, ba it's like a tablet, it's baked in. Yeah. So to all these elements and the redundancy in this, does this make them more expensive than a standard <coughs> computer you just go pick up at the store? You know, in some cases it might. You know, we're talking like $50 price difference though. Mm -hmm. It just depends on which model you're looking at and what the sales are and things like that. Um, the, the bottom line is what we're trying to do is when you look at a custom computer, like lots of companies have made custom computers throughout the years. When you look at a custom computer, companies that make those are trying to make a really good profit on that one transaction, that, that sale of the computer. Mm -hmm. Like Dell and like Dell does and HP does, that $500 computer you buy from Dell, they're making two dollars $300 on that computer. Mm -hmm. wow. um, yeah, they, they have huge margins on those computers, whereas a shop like ours, if we sell a $500 computer, we might break even. Mm -hmm. Might break even. Mm -hmm. So why are we even selling computers? You know, it, it's a service thing. Because we, at Schrock, our opinion is, you know, we're not going to sell you a computer for $200 more than we need to because we want to build a relationship with you and keep that relationship over time. Right. So that way, when you need stuff, you come to us, you have someone you can trust. We'd rather make, you know, moderate profits repeatedly mm -hmm. than make one big giant profit and say call mm -hmm. us next time you want to buy a computer. Yeah, yeah right. Absolutely. Uh, so how do people, if they're interested in modular computers, how do they go about shopping for that? Like where do you even start? Gotcha. Yeah, it's kind of interesting because you know if you if you Google modular computers, you'll find our website, shockinnovations.com, uh, and you can buy and configure the computer online. You can purchase it. You know, no matter where you're at in the country, you can buy a computer, we'll ship it to you the whole bit. Uh, laptops are also available on the website. They're not considered modular because you can't really you can't change things out except for mm -hmm. the memory and the hard drive, but uh, we do have our own line of solid state laptops that we take all the laptops that you would normally buy and then we trick them out. Mm -hmm. You can get those on the website too. Or of course, you know, we've got the three locations. You know, if you're, if you're mobile and local, you can pop right in and buy it right in the shop. And let's check out those three locations now, shall we? We've got Papillion. I thought we were well, going we'll live. I was like, what? <laughs> let's check this. going live one of your locations? <laughs> is my family going to jump out of a car? Is this a GM commercial? What's going right. on? The one uh, at Village Point. Then, of course, you've got Papillion and the service center down in Lincoln. Shrockinnovations.com for more information. Awesome. <laughs> Thor, thanks funny. for coming that's, in. And we're not. We're taking you there live. <laughs> 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 I was kind of wondering where she was going with that, yeah. too, myself, actually. <laughs> Thanks, we're going to see you. <laughs>